Greetings to everybody from Mentis and welcome back to Let's Play Sock Adventure DX. Here we are with a bonus episode. Last episode I finished the game. Uh, in this episode I'm going to go for thing, a couple of upgrades that I missed and going to show off missions. So we start with Amy going to the egg carrier. You just hop in that little boat and it'll carry you to the egg carrier. To get her second and final upgrade, you want to go up here. Actually, let's just hop on the monorail, it'll just be easier. This brings the monorail around, and you want to hop on it and then get back in the water. No, don't hop in the water. <laughs> Counts as a lost life. Actually, I don't think you can hop in the water. So, once you're here, you want to go in here. Hammer time, there we go. Actually, yes, it is hammer time because you want to hop up here and boom. All right, we got to beat the record. The awesome record that I set. Come on. Jeez, um. Helps if they actually show up more often, damn it. Crap. Come on. No, crap. Did I just tie? Did I did I do it? Congratulations. Did I win? Did I? Woo! Yep, so here's her second and final upgrade. It's the long hammer. Here's the long hammer. Your attack radius is now increased. Try the spin hammer attack. Yep, so both her power-ups are gotten from that. You don't know... Oh, wait. Yep, you can hear the difference in the attack there. But if you were to hold it out... Yep. Whoa, it attacks far... Oh, right, I forgot to show that you can get dizzy, though. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. Now I'm gonna cut to me changing us into... Okay, so I'm now back as Gamma now. It is nighttime. Why is it nighttime for Gamma? I don't know. So, what you want to do. Actually, you know what? I feel like doing something else real quick. Why is it nighttime for Gamma? I'm confused on that part. What do you have to say? Get up, read the paper, go to bed. Read the life. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can still play as Gamma even though he's, you know, dead. And you want to go to the Acadia. Where it will suddenly be daytime. Hooray! I'll hop on the monorail system again. Also, for characters who have the Sky Deck, if you want to access the Sky Deck again, you have to, uh... Go and hit that switch I showed a couple of episodes ago. Uh, underneath the chair and all. So now we are here. And I have no idea where to go. So let's just discover this together, shall we? Then here is where I found the uh, jet booster. So it's not in there. Let's try across the road. Because there's a door over here that I've not gone into in here that I should be looking. It is. Here's your laser blaster. Its blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. Hooray! I don't know the difference. Whatever. So now I have a uh, an increase attack. So that's that. Now I'm going to show off mission mode. Okay, so I'm here as Sonic in mission mode. Very first mission come in the form of cards. You want to just touch them. Bring the man who's standing in front of the hamburger shop. No time limit on this thing or anything. You just have to do exactly as it says. In this case, run over here. 
The hamburger shop is right here. It's just a statue. Oh my god. It's just a statue. You just want to stand next to it and pick it up. Then run! Yep. So you just bring it over here, right where it's said to set it. Just drop it right there and boom! Mission one clear. There are unfortunately a lot of missions though. A lot. A lot of them for Sonic. They're color coded, unfortunately for me being colorblind, this kind of sucks. I can tell Tails and Knuckles, but big Amy. Sonic, I can't tell those three apart, so I kind of get screwed. There is one in particular I hate, I think it's this one, that's a uh, Tails mission, where uh, you have to uh, get 15 flags in Ice Cap Zone, which sucks. Anyway, I think I'll uh, add some, just put all into one bonus episode. I'm gonna show off the Chow Garden now. If you go into the hotel, we went into this elevator with Knuckles, but if you go into this elevator... You find yourself in the... Oh. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, this is the reason why I had talked about before about... Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 having having planned it but dealing with wanting to wait till I got some done in Chow Garden but something came up that made it so that it made it completely irrelevant this was that I had a memory card a while back that I got from GameStop it was used but it was a massive one same size as the one I'm using now but you know used and corrupted and I didn't know that so I found that my while well, my Sonic Adventure 2 save file was fine the child garden data was corrupted and had to be deleted like here sure why not i'll create a new one why not i don't care i don't go into sonic adventure one child garden so here we are in child garden you a couple things you notice these oh whoa it actually works i didn't think it would work whoa Okay, didn't want to show this yet. Take me back, please. <laughs> there are three Chow Gardens. I want to show them off one at a time. So what you get are eggs. Two eggs per Chow Garden, I believe. Here's one. The other one is over here. I am very impatient. Hello, little fella who is happy to see me and is floating between my hands. So, yep, they have stats. The animals that you've seen, uh, they are what add to the stats. Blue ones, I believe, add to swimming. Purple ones add to flying. Green ones add to running. And red ones add to power, I believe. For stamina, you have these trees that you can grab onto and shake, and they will drop uh, fruit. Just feed the child the fruit, and it'll add to its stamina. You have ten blocks to each level, and depending on the child's statistics, they each one has a grade next to it. Uh, a B C D. Oh no, sorry, S A B C D E. Uh, if it's E, E's the lowest. S is the highest. Uh, if it has a high grade, then uh, it'll add more points to that level with each level up. Like, I believe if it's S, it adds, uh, like, almost 30 points per level up. If it's E, I think it adds maybe 10 points per level up. So if you have an all S Chow, which is what I was aiming for in Sonic Adventure 2 when it got corrupted, and I actually managed to get one, but I didn't get a chance to raise it all that much before it got corrupted. Anyway, uh... If you actually manage that, then you could have a super powerful child raised right. Um, so yeah, different animals. Stamina fruit like this only add one block per bite. Like that. However, animals will add maybe two, 
can add anywhere from two to four blocks with each animal used. It'll just be instantaneous. Um, yeah. Over here we have... This is different in the uh, Dreamcast version, but I'm not gonna, I don't know it that much, so I can't really discuss it. Here, however, you have options. This is the... If you have, like, Sonic Adventure 2, uh, you can drop off your Chow in it by connecting uh, a Game Boy Advance and a GameCube, or in my case, a Wii, through the Game Boy Advance GameCube link. With Sonic Adventure 2, you can, it has the tiny Chow Garden in which you can do little activities and such. I see no point to it, really. It just is a hindrance. You can name your Chow. If, if you bring the Chow here, you can... If you carry the Chow with you. I shall also clarify, you don't need Sonic Adventure 2. You can just have a blank, uh... Nothing. You could have no cartridge in it. But you do need to make sure of it that you get the Chow back. Before you turn off the Game Boy. Otherwise you will lose that Chow. That's why you gotta be careful. Sonic Adventure 2... Uh, I mean, Sonic Advance 2 will save the Chow Garden. Having no cartridge will do nothing. Not exactly safe. You, you can name your Chow, or you can, if you don't want the Chow anymore, just abandon it, which is really nice. <laughs> You're a great parent at that point. Uh, I'll carry this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just, I didn't run over the Chow, did I? I did. No. Crap, I hate doing that. Oh, poor little fella. You can, oh wait, Y button in this game. You can pet the chow. Oh, I'm sorry, little fella. Whatever, I'm never gonna pay attention to you anyway, so I shouldn't really care. Damn it, will you stop that? I just want to pick up, thank you. Over here we have the black market. Where you can take items such as eggs. You can sell the item, only 50 rings. How the hell did I get? Oh yeah, duh. This is, the rings you get throughout the stages will be accumulated here. This is their purpose in this game. You can buy things, like right now I, I can afford a white egg. Yay. Uh, um, you also have shiny eggs, gray egg. Dark fruit will, uh, Chows also have a light and dark perspective. If you raise up by... I don't know how it actually works. I think in this one it can only be done through dark or hero fruit. Uh, if you feed a dark fruit, it'll get turned into a dark chow. If you feed a hero fruit, it'll turn into a hero chow. Once it stamina gets to about level 9 or 10, uh, it, the chow will evolve in the next stage. And become an adult chow right now, just out of the egg are ch children chow, baby chow. Um, yeah, you can get any kind of, ow, you can get any kind of chow. Chow's lifespan typically lasts about five hours, total, 15 hours total, I mean, um, if you're really good to the chow, if you raise it right, it will reincarnate. In other words, it'll die and leave an egg behind from which it still lives, and then you can do it again. If you go through three life cycles, if on the third life cycle, if you can give it one of every animal, only one, you will get a, uh, and then let it evolve into the next stage, you will get a chaos chow. Uh... I'll show, I won't show what those are actually, because if you want it, you gotta either go look somewhere for it or find one yourself. Anyway, heart fruit, uh, feed it to a chow. Eh, actually, buy two, this is your best bet. Buy two of these, feed them to two separate chows that you want to have mate. Put them in, they'll grow flowers around them and just sit, just set one next to the other and they'll mate and then create an egg. You can do that a lot to, if you do it properly, you can get an LS chow like I did. Chow fruit, a uh, skill fruit, uh, you feed it to the chow and not only will they get a one block for stamina with each bite, but also one block to everything else for each bite as well. Triangular fruit are just fruit, just fruit. Bucket are hats, you can give them hats to wear. These are all hats. If your chow is smart enough, they will put it on and wear it. 
Uh, there are other things, but not available at this moment. Uh, over here we have Chow Race, in which you can decide which of your Chow you want to have for race. I uh, start off with the only beginner race. Uh, oh, wait, what? They both. When were they both born? Okay, so that one's just naturally like that. I didn't hit it. Well, I did, but. Uh, if you have it win the beginner races, then you'll unlock other races. Uh, winning races can get you emblems. So that's a bonus. Um, yeah, this is where it is that there are a few emblems that you may have missed. If you find yourself, there are 130 emblems total. If you find yourself at 125, I believe it is, and you don't know where to go, go to Chow Garden, because chances are there's some races you have to do. But anyway, that's it for that Chow Garden. Ah, oh, why'd I go that way? I could have... Now, next up, because there's one Chow Garden for each adventure field, which you just saw was the uh, town, the Station Square Chow Garden. And although you caught a glimpse of it, I didn't quite show it all that well though, because I didn't want to. I'm going to show the Mystic Ruins Chow Garden and where to find it, first of all, first and foremost. Oh, I'm still in mission mode, I forgot about that. Oh well, don't care. Cards are strewn about all over the adventure field, so yeah, you can just find them anywhere, really. More so for Sonic, because, well, he's the main character and there are a lot more cards for him. But anyway, for the Mystic Ruins Chow Garden, you hop on this. And you will be taken to, oh, well, the Mystic Ruins Chow Garden, like I just said. This one obviously has a more nature environment. Last one was in a building, this one's in out in nature. Open environment. No chow race though. Not really anything here. Outside of open environment. Yay. Nope, no Chow Race. There is, however, the Chow Adventure for the Tiny Chow Garden. And that's it, really. I'm just gonna leave, because I don't care. Two eggs there as well, of course, but... Mm. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. I don't care. Uh, and then the third and final Chow Garden... Per my personal favorite in this game, even though I don't deal with Chow Gardens in this game. On the Egg Carrier. Actually, you have to solve a puzzle to... Solve a puzzle to open it. Alright. Oh, Where's the monorail? Actually, no, it's screw it. Sonic's fast enough, I can just hop on in. It's faster this way. Instead dealing with the uh, the monorail, I could just come down here and this is where it is. You may have noticed me pass this a couple times. Just I wonder what the password is. I doubt this is it. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Yep, and it'll open up. And welcome to oh. Yep, this is all you get. And vroom, 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 vroom. you'll be teleported to my personal favorite because it's a beach with Eggman's toys on it. Yep, this is it. Just a nice beach. Um, what else? Here are the transporters, the Chow Adventure, we got a little beach bed here. Alright, you can also whistle. If your Chow likes you enough and is smart enough, uh, he'll come to you when you whistle. And that's all. You got two eggs here, one here, and one over there. And that's it. But there's still more stuff to be done with the Chows. I still need to show some things. Since I'm at the egg carrier, I'll show that first. Oh, wait, what's in here? 
I actually don't know. It doesn't look like there is anything, and I don't really care. So, hop back on this and we will exit to the egg carrier, because there are a few hidden things, a couple of which you've actually seen, that I need to show off. If you head out here... Ah, oh, great, I need to put that back in. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't get in there? Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, so... Now that I have Amy, can I uh, hit this button? I wanna go in here, go past the game. We don't care about that right now. And in here, if you were to, wait, what? Okay, there's a mission there for her, hooray. I don't care. In here you have a, an onyx egg as they call it black. Just pure black. Onyx. Breeding. So yeah. Also, I never point out you have these little maids cleaning up the egg carrier, even after it's crashed and been abandoned. So at least even though it's been abandoned, it will always be pretty. Oh yeah, also this thing mixes up every time you come here. Yep, so you can just carry the egg with you into the chow garden. And... Uh, yeah, throw it! Hey, you were supposed to break you. Excuse me. Amy, why are you so weak? There we go. Say hello to the Onyx Chow. With a sad face. Anyway, so there's that chow. Now, next we're gonna go to the Mystic Ruins. Okay. And leave, because we don't want to be here yet. Well, we do, but there's nothing really we can do yet. What I want to show off is in the Mystic Ruins, not in the Chow Garden. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Cool. Don't care. Woohoo! Yay! Awesome! I'm ballerina. <laughs> it's a Charmander! It's a majestical beast! Okay. So what we want to do, and I'm not even sure I can, it's up there, right? Yes, it is, okay. What we want to do is push this in, that'll push that out, and give us an egg. I don't think you can break the eggs open while you're outside the chow garden, so don't worry about that. Come on, come on. Come on, settle down in this spot so that I can pick you up. There we go. Yay. So now we have a silver egg. And we want to take it back to the chow garden. Hooray, look, it's the fastest you'll ever see Amy run. Because she's so slow. So why am I continuing to use her? Because I don't feel like changing out characters. Okay, there we go. And once it is that you have a... Uh... Excuse me, dude, you didn't break. You bet. No, actually, I have a better idea. Damn it. Whatever. Well, you. Greg. Just. There it go. There it is. Yay. 
Hooray, we have a silver chow now. Yep, after a while, uh, after you upgrade their running some point, they can actually walk and eventually run and run faster. I didn't mention that. Anyway, going on to Station Square. We have one more egg to show off and then I'll only have one more thing to do this bonus episode. So let's leave here for now. And what we want to do is head over to where we first fought Chaos as Sonic. Woohoohoo! Yay! Okay. Ah, sorry, car. Yep. So over here, we want to grab this. No, this is not the egg that you can hatch, it's just a rock. What we want to do is come in here, set this down, and look, here's the egg. You pick it up, however, and you're locked in. But that's what this is for. Drop it, and hooray, you can escape. And he just stands there and is like, oh, you're stealing my shit? Okay, have fun. So, we bring this to the Chow Garden. For some breathing. And they're pulling into a parking garage. I'm going in a door and into. Here I am in a hotel room. Go up here. Thank you. And let's find a wall. Look at that, a wall. And now here we have a golden chow, and that's it. That's everything of the chow gardens I'm going to show, but there's still one more thing I want to do this bonus episode, and I'm going to cut to doing it right. Okay, so this is what I want to show off. If you get 130 emblems and complete all 60 missions, you will unlock in trial in the trial games Metal Sonic. All his stages are... they're just Sonic stages. That's it. He's... He accelerates faster than Sonic, and he, his top speed is a little bit better. This isn't really anything with a big purpose to it, but it is fun to do, at least. It's fun to play as him. Oh god! Well, I'm dead. <laughs> well, that was fun. This is really all I want to show off is that, personally, I'm not good enough. I can't get past big stages to get all 130 emblems. So this is uh, Metal Sonic here I unlocked by use of an action replay on another file. So yeah, I did that a while back and now he's permanently unlocked for me. But if you're good enough, you can unlock him yourself. I personally can't because I hate big stages. So yeah, that's all it is, that's, and that's it for this bonus episode. I may or may not complete this, uh, I guess I could try and complete this stage at least. But really there's no purpose to it, so yeah, that's it, that's it. All, everything for Sonic Adventure DX. Join me next time and I will probably play Sonic Adventure 2 at some point. Until then, however, this has been Dementus. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Adios. Oh, well. What's going on? What's wrong with you, Mel Sonic? <laughs> Why am I still playing? I'm done. I don't know why I'm still playing. I really don't. Whatever. Done. Adios. <laughs>